A month ago, Yen Bingrong, a villager from the Yuhang district of the city of Hangzhou in East China's Zhejiang province, went out to work on his farm like any other day. But he was shocked at what he saw. A bridge that connects his home village to his farm had completely disappeared. It just disappeared overnight. It's unbelievable. I was wondering what's going on. The missing bridge, about 20 meters long and 2 meters wide, is almost 100 years old and is made out of granite. Witnesses said that they saw a crane parked nearby one day before the bridge went missing. We heard noise and saw a crane, but didn't know that it was stealing the bridge. The bridge used to be the only road connecting Yan's village in the central district of Hangzhou. But now, most people prefer to take a newly built expressway to get into the city. We were very angry. It's been here for decades, and now someone just took it away. It's unacceptable. Villagers then called police for help. After watching surveillance videos taken on nearby roads, police discovered the bridge in pieces in a stone storage yard located about 50 kilometers away. The manager of the yard said he spent 50,000 yuan, or 8,170 U.S. dollars, to buy the slabs that made up the bridge from a seller. The seller told me that he bought the slabs from the village. He said the bridge was abandoned a long time ago. Police then located two people believed to be responsible for stealing the bridge in a motel. The primary suspect is a man surnamed Chen who took the bridge and broke it into slabs in order to sell the slabs for cash. The 45-year-old suspect, who was reportedly in dire financial straits, contacted a stone dealer, while another suspect, a man surnamed Wang, rented a 70-ton crane to help Chen remove the bridge, as well as arranged for two trucks to deliver the slabs that made up the bridge. Although he has been arrested, Chen said he didn't realize that he had violated the law. I just wanted to make some money. If I gave it to someone else, they would pocket some of the money. The bridge's slabs were sent back to the village in early August. Local residents were excited to see the bridge return home. In order to figure out its value and history, local police invited experts to analyze the bridge. The experts said the bridge is culturally and historically valuable and should be protected under law.